instilled in us. I mean, we watch and we learn, and we also do a lot of sewing. Mom also uh, saw our potential as individuals. The seven children in the family, we didn't know that she could track what she did. Uh, she helped us to develop those skills. She was always looking at each of us as individuals to see where our strengths and our needs were. She helped us to be more fully developed as a, a well-rounded person. For me, she noticed that I was the quietest in the family. Would you agree? <laughs> uh, I was quiet, but I was thinking. And I think that Linda did most of the talking and she wanted me to have a little more gift of gab like Linda did, I think. So she found some opportunities, like she did all of us. She placed those opportunities in front of us so that we could develop those skills that she knew we would be better off with those um, skills and attributes um, in our lifetime. Uh, so she found rainbows for me. My cousins were involved in that, and our aunties were also part of that. And they were growing up and also as adults. And, um, and being involved in that helped me to develop public speaking and leadership skills, which um, you know, I, I've used a lot in, in my um, lifetime. Mother was an encourager. She did it in a very gentle way. She gently urged us and nudged us toward completing the things that we need to complete to uh, meet our goals. I can hear her saying right now, don't procrastinate. I, you know, as sometimes they're waiting for the last minute to get something done. She included her nieces and her nephews in that encouragement and her grandchildren in that uh, encouraging them to stay in school and finish their education. She would say education is the most important thing that you can do to develop your skills to find your full potential. She celebrated success. Parties, she could throw parties. She was a great organizer. Uh, and if we were having a holiday and somebody had relatives with them, everybody came. So sometimes we'd have 40, 50 people at the house, but it was you know, more the merrier and no one was to be left out and everyone was included. And that's the way mom did things so that everybody could feel loved and not left out. Left out. Mom also led by example. Um, she knew that there were things that we were going to need as we got older and <clears throat> as we were growing up. So part of this is she ran what I call a covert, covert operation at home. <laughs> she kept a secret from dad because she was attending college classes at PLU and also over at the folk ed school for two years. None of us kids spilled beans. <laughs> and uh, this was a time when men worked out of the home and women stayed at home to make sure that things were done well at home. And uh, but she saw into the future, and uh, she knew that she needed to have more education before she went to work. So, but right here at the church is where she almost got caught. As she walked across the campus earlier that week, and Pastor Thompson happened to see her and said, Dorothy, it was so nice to see you on campus. And she's looking at him as we're greeting at the after service, and she looked at me and smiled, and Dad was right there, and she just kept right on going. <laughs>
So anyway, also she started working then at Bethel School District as a cook, uh, office secretary, and then she moved into the district office where she worked for 30 plus years. My dad thought she was the only employee in the whole school district who never got a raise. <laughs> to the 
shall meet again. And my mother's wish is that she will meet all of you in heaven. And that's her, that's her, her prayer. And there's a, a verse there I'll let you read on your own. It's an act. 